And new and exclusive video just into the CBS4 newsroom. You can see an officer walking the 15-year-old suspect into the juvenile assessment center, that teen, without a shirt or even shoes. The 15-year-old is charged with grand theft auto, fleeing and eluding, and a couple of other crimes as well. Good evening, I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Rudy Bay Shabazi. And what's pretty amazing is through all of this, somehow no one was seriously hurt. CBS4's Hank Tester begins our team coverage from Miami Gardens. It always ends this way, a chase, the pursuit is taken down, cuffed, famous for a few seconds, then off to jail. The story rarely changes, and the latest not to get the message is 15-year-old Alan Moss. Eastbound, westbound lanes, uh, trying to go northbound 95. TV viewers soaked in this chase, it lasted well over an hour. This after a stolen SUV report in South Miami-Dade. And Miami-Dade police spotted the white Chevy Tahoe heading north, passing by Goulds Park, US-1. Multiple police agencies responded to the antics of the unlicensed driver, who led officers on and off expressways, Highway 95, into Broward County, back to Dade, dashes up wrong way streets and several loop arounds evading police. This after stealing the SUV right out of this driveway on Southwest 185th Street, crashing the fence and the gate. Lila Angeles says she heard a crashing sound. She says when I went outside, the fence was already down. As I was running after him, I saw him around the corner. And I went back and I called the police. She watched the drama unfold on TV, later telling us she had started the SUV so the AC would cool it down, then went inside. That's when the suspect made his move. The rest you saw on TV. In the end, it was a blown tire that ended the chase. No one injured in the entire event. Police cars damaged. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News tonight.